Welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm Austrick Vox, and what is the CalArt style? If you've been on the internet the last few weeks, especially around the announcement of Thundercats Roar, you may have seen a spike in criticism towards modern day animation art styles, including this gif of a simple bean-shaped head and ovalish shaped smile, altering ever so slightly, each time morphing to a different cartoon character, essentially illustrating the point that all these cartoons look the same. Clarence, Steven Universe, Star, Gravity Balls, Gumball, and as you you can infer by the name, a lot of people have adopted this as the CalArt style. Why? Well, it comes from the assumption that a lot of these showrunners and their fans who produce fan art or develop their own art style that takes inspiration from these series all have attended, currently attending, or would like to attend CalArts, one of the most popular art institutes of all time, where yes, a bit of people in the animation industry attended the school. Now since the CalArt style is often associated with criticism, it does have a negative connotation. A lot of people will look at something and go, that's okay. CalArts! Now that's all fine and dandy, but did you know if you use the term CalArts as an insult, your entire life is a lie? That's right, what you may not know is that the term CalArts has actually originated from John Kay. You know, creator Brennan Stempy, sexual deviant, you know, great guy. It appears it's actually originated from his blog spot in 2010. And guess what modern cartoon he was criticizing? A regular show? Adventure Time? Whatever cartoon was on Nick? <laughs> actually, he didn't use this term to criticize any cartoons running at that time. He used it to criticize Disney movies. He believed the Keller style derived from early Disney films, and essentially that other properties are trying to come off as Disney. And for some reason, he dunked on the Iron Giant. Like, yeah, I guess I see what you mean, dude. It's a similar art style, but why was that your only quote unquote modern day example? So, yes, the Keller style was used to just dunk on Disney. It has nothing to do with the bean mouth style of a lot of modern day cartoons. But also, newsflash, people, almost every period of animation has had multiple properties properties that have similar art styles. I'm not saying it's an excuse or justification, but trends do exist, and I feel as if trends help cartoons get picked up, or other times are just easier to animate. Why do you think Steven Universe went from this to this? And also that gif going around? I wouldn't even say it's accurate. A lot of the characters just look wonky, but also you have to consider these shows in their own elements. Steven Universe, Star, Gumball especially, they all have different art styles, different line depth. To say these shows all look the same, you're totally looking at it at face value and in Gumball's case are you even looking at the show hello and also why call it the CalArt style Rebecca Sugar didn't go to CalArts Ben Book Quaylet the creator of Gumball didn't go to CalArts I mean yeah Darren Nefsey did Alex Hirsch did but as far as I know none of these other examples they use in this gif have creators that went to CalArts and who knows whoever created this gif probably didn't call it the CalArts style gif or whatever they probably just made to say hey a lot of my cartoons look the same and other people took that and said oh CalArts 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 what about the actual CalArts students, why are you dunking on them? I'm sure they all have their different art styles. And guess what? I'm sure five to ten years from now, cartoons will have a completely new design trend. And people will go, oh, cartoons had a lot more diversity back in my day. I'll tell you what. To which another voice in the room will go, Grandpa, are you okay? You've been angrily typing on the keyboard for like five minutes. Animation picked at Star versus the Force of Evil. This is all Roundtable's fault. Who? Or something like that. I don't know. Overall, guys, I feel like most cartoons these days actually don't look the same. Yeah, they can have influences, they can have similar design trends, but also to say every single character looks like that in the show is incorrect. They all had different characters, different designs, different proportions. Every cartoon is unique in its tone, its feel, its aesthetic. I mean, as Pan Pizza pointed out, in the early 2000s, every cartoon wanted to look like an anime. It's fine, guys. Life will go on. But I don't think a school as a whole should get this weird, negative stigma around it over really nothing. Also, be more careful with your jokes because evidently CalArts was actually closed a few days ago because someone made a threat towards the school. Now I've seen people say it was just a joke, it was along the lines of some of you are alright, don't go to school tomorrow, which is a meme in itself. But in this day and age, you shouldn't say that about an actual location. It's just not smart guys. Not in this climate. But as always, what do you guys think? How do you feel about this alleged CalArts style? And what would you name it? Honestly, bean face, bean mouth, whatever is a lot more fitting. And what cartoons would you feel like looked all the same when you were young? And if you 
are young and watching this, I'm thinking like between the ages of 6 to 10, what shows do you feel look the same? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your thoughts directly to me at Dr. Vlogs. We're at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Biz. If you want to help the Roundtable grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name feature at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things animation. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vlogs, out.